So Satan is a deceiver. Satan disorientates the church of God. He puts things upside down and yet they are right side up. Because he's trying to bring a confusion so that people begin to be diluted in their thoughts and their spirits to know what is truth. The enemy these days has been working relentlessly to distort truth so that even an unbeliever can have an opinion about the truth of God. Even an unbeliever now has an opinion. Even an atheist has an opinion. They even have an opinion about our God. They even have an opinion about the church. Even how the church must operate, they have an opinion. You are talking about issues of next door when we are not part of that family. But there is a danger when you who own the thing, you have nothing to say. Because everybody's going to have something to say. And sometimes the voice of the enemy becomes stronger. The truth as well is that if you stand in the truth of God, you cannot defend God. Stand just in the truth. Let the church be truthful. If the church is truthful, God is going to defend himself. But the problem is when the church will move from the truth. Then when they move away from the truth, then they've opened themselves to deception. And the devil will have an opinion. We cannot preach a partial message. In other words, even as a church, we cannot purport this new ideology of salvation without repentance. That is this salvation without repentance kind of a shift in the gospel today has become a tragedy and a mockery into the work of the cross. That is exactly how the church has shifted to the state it is facing today. People are no more convicted of sin. People have no fear of God. Because if, you're, if the church is convicted in sin, church will never operate in sin. But the salvation that is being preached today is a partial, diluted, half-baked message that is excluding repentance. People are saved without repenting. What do you call that thing? So if you do that, that means it's salvation without the Holy Spirit. We've got to look at David in the Bible. He was a paragon of virtue when it comes to leadership and he became a prototype of the Jewish Messiah. The reason is because David moved in repentance. It does not show that David was a perfect man. But David knew how to repent. In my own analysis, the church is pushing salvation without repentance. People are no more truly repenting and crying out to God. Therefore, the, the kind of Christians that are coming out are half-baked Christians. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Many of you are sick. Many of you are weak. Many of you sleep early, which means they die before time. 
the reason it happens is because you did not discern the body of Christ. Remember the Passover that the blood was applied at the doorposts. Hallelujah. And the angel of death had to come. But when he saw the blood, if you know how to invoke the power of the blood of Jesus, how to retrieve that power, how to stimulate that power, how to take the weapon of the power of the blood of Jesus, no demon in hell will be able to stand before you.